Okay, so now we're going to, um, we're still trying to deal with unknowns, and this time we're going to try and fill in the unknowns and use something like the most frequent value, or you'll see what that means. So the idea is very simple here. If there's something missing, if you have an NA somewhere, I guess we have to go back and rewrite the data to get the original uh, data set again. But anyway, if you're if something's missing, um, let's go back and look at this data set again. For example, suppose that uh, in this variable something was missing in some row. Okay, so if there was something missing, why don't we just take the average of of all of the other values for this variable and just replace the missing value. Let's see, was there a missing value? Let's find it. For example, in row 184, uh, whatever column this is, this variable has a missing value here. So why don't we just take the average of all, I mean, so we'd want to replace this with something. So the simplest thing to do would just be, well, I mean, we don't have any particular thing that we should replace it with because it's just not available. So we don't know what to re replace it with. So why not just replace it with the average of everything? I mean, that's kind of our best choice, right? Well, I shouldn't choose this value to replace it with because it's probably not the average. Why not take the average of the, all the values and just replace th it with that? I mean, this is a, you know, we're just guessing at something to replace it with, but we don't want to remove the entire row. But some of our algorithms that we need to use won't accept an NA, so we have to replace it with something. So not why not replace it just with the mean of this va of this? So we can do that. On the other hand, some that that's okay, but uh, if you remember from statistics, if the data is very skewed, so if this variable data is very skewed, if we look at the distribution of this variable, and it's very skewed, it's like not a normal curve, or it's not, it's just skewed, then using the mean may not be a good idea because if you remember, um, when a curve is very skewed the mean will be like also sort of moved far away from the so-called center and so it may not be a good idea to replace it with the mean in that case uh, replacing it with the median might be a better choice so one thing to do is to check maybe uh, to see what the distribution of this variable looks like first um, to make sure that it's not skewed Okay, so let's look at uh, row 48. So here it is. We can see there's an NA here in the MXPH. So what we want to do is uh, replace uh, this NA with the average of all the MXPH for all the record of all the records. But before we do that, maybe we should check. Uh, the distribution of MXPH to make sure that it's not skewed. So let's look at a picture of it. So I'm going to go back to the history and we made a histogram before. And I'm going to try and find that code. Actually we made a histogram of this particular variable already. I'm just going to try and do it again. So I'm going to try and find that code. So here it is. No, that's not it, but it's near here. So here was the code. I don't know if I can paste all of this in at once. But I'll copy it and try that. Maybe it worked. Yeah. So here we can see a picture of the distribution. We can also see that it's fairly normal. And you can also see here from the shape that it's fairly normal as well. So it may be OK to replace everything by the mean. Now if it was skewed, like if it looked like this and then stretched all the way over here, it probably wouldn't be a good idea to use the mean. And you'd probably want to use the median. So we'll use this code here. So what does this do? 
So we're going to just calculate the mean of this variable and we're just going to say if there's any uh, other NAs in this column in this variable if there's any other NAs in this column just get rid of those so remove them equals true so we're just going to take the average of all of the existing values for this variable and we're going to uh, take that or take the mean I should say and we're going to replace um, this uh, row 48, this variable, with that. Now if we check to see what it looks like now, we see that there's no longer a, an A in this value and it's apparently equal to the mean of the other values. So this is one way to do replacements. Now generally we wouldn't want to just do this one at a time. We'd want to do it to every uh, value in for a particular variable. So maybe a particular variable like uh, this variable might have more than just row 40, 48 having an NA and we instead of wanting to do it just to row 48 we'd like to do it to all of the rows for, th for this variable that have NA. So let's do the code for that. Alright, now if we run, remember we did this function before the apply and uh, we were trying to get by the, uh, the number of NA's per, per row. But now I've changed this to a 2 before it was a 1. So this is going to give me the number of NA's per column, which means per variable. So let's look at this. And uh, so now I can see that season has zero NAs, size has zero, speed has zero, but CL has eight, and here it's CHLA has ten. So suppose we want to replace all of these NAs with, like, for example, the mean. But before we decide on the mean, we should check uh, to look at the distribution of this, of this variable. For example, let's try and look at a box plot of this just to see what it looks like. So here, this gives me a kind of feeling that it's kind of skewed. There's a lot of stuff in the larger range, even though uh, this is the box plot, so there's a lot of stuff up here could also do um, we could also use this code that we just ran before but this time for this variable what that looks like. So here we can see that it is kind of skewed. It is skewed. And this really does not at all follow this straight line. So it's not uh, normal. The QQ pot plot is not normal. We have all these outliers or all these uh, high values up here. So it is skewed, so probably it's not a good idea to use the mean in this case, because the mean is going to be really affected by these high values. So the mean is going to be pulled up way like up to here, and that's not really representative of, of the data. So I'd rather use the median. So let's do that. So let's look at this code here. So we're taking the median of that variable, and again, uh, we're getting rid of any ones where there's an NA, so we don't, we're not worried about taking the median of something that has NA in it. And what are we uh, doing? We're taking the algae set, we're going to replace it, we're going to replace the CHLA value with the me median. And for which rows are we going to want to do that? We're going to want to do it. This is is NA. On, so whenever this is NA, 
this will be true. So we're going to, the other ones will be false. So we're going to be replacing the median into all of the places where it's um, NA for this variable. So if we try that, we get that. Now I wonder what would happen now. Well, no. Uh, so let's, um, so you could check to see that, but uh, I, don't, I guess it's not going to have much meaning since we didn't check it before we replaced it. But anyway, that's what we've done now. Now you might ask, okay, what do we do if we're not talking about an a numeric variable? Of course, this is this was a numeric variable, so we could talk about the median. And uh, the other variable that we looked at was also numeric, so we could have talked we talked about the mean. But if we don't have a numer if this variable is if we're not looking at a numeric variable, but we still have NAs that we want to replace, what should we replace it with? And in that case, you could use the mode. So you could, um, that is, r replace a categorical var variable. Let's go back and look at this again. Let's run this. So a categorical variable like season. Suppose that uh, somewhere in the season column there was an NA. What should we? What could we replace that NA with? Well, we could replace it. Remember, we're just kind of uh, guessing at a value for it. So we could replace it with just the most frequent value for this variable. So maybe winter occurs more than all, all the other values. So if we find an NA, let, why don't we just replace it by winter since we don't really have any other strategy. Now this is not necessarily the best strategy, which is sort of obvious, but uh, it is fast. So let's come up with another method. Um, and uh, this one we're going to explore the correlations between variables in order to find a good replacement for NAs.